school lunches. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. I get today with President's Day, no school or work for my daughter and myself. We're in Minnesota and the temps have been record breaking highs here. It's been in the upper 50s to low 60s the last three days. But for today, for school lunch and snack, I found these little pretzels at the Dollar Tree. So I'm giving her one of these. This was a bag of an eight count. So gave her that with a little bit of grape. I don't know if that's going to be kind enough or not. I put her, I put her for favorite yogurt in the freezer for a little while this morning, so that's partially frozen. That's her lunch. Along with this crumb cake bar. I gave her one of these last week and she really liked it. The Nutri Grain Pellet product. Juice. And under, we have a, our ice pack here for her salad. And then also giving her a water bottle. This is probably about one cup of lettuce in here I used to romaine. So she's having that for her lunch. Today I always send the spoons so and napkins so she doesn't have to go in search of that at school. Thanks, be back again tomorrow. Today she has a snack pack pudding, half of a jelly sandwich on holy bread, half of an orange with some grapes. Her morning snack, she has a granola bar, I'll put that up in the pouch up above. A drink box. I would give her a spoon and napkin and then some carrots. Look how big this carrot was in the bag and that's not even the whole size. That was from that juice bag I got from Sam's Club. So that's what she's having for lunch today. Yesterday she came home with a little bit of salad and um, some grapes. But otherwise, this is what she's having for Tuesday. Thank you. Hi there, welcome back to School Lunches with I Heart Saving Money. Yesterday my daughter really liked her lunch. She came home with a little bit of her fruit left. She didn't eat her orange, but otherwise she said she enjoyed her sandwich. Today I'm doing another sandwich. And uh, this one's just peanut butter. She's getting a little bit particular as to what she wants to eat. She doesn't want any lunch meat, that sort of thing or roll-ups or so I'm just trying to go with what I know that she'll eat so I made her a peanut butter sandwich for her morning snack I gave her some of these Annie's honey graham bunnies and I'm giving her a salad again and this time I'm gonna do a suggestion that I received from my, one of my viewers pretty pretty girl loving it so she suggested that I hide a treat on the bottom of the healthy stuff so that the kid has a nice surprise when they get to the end. So that's what I did. I put a Valentine candy down on the bottom of her salad. An apple, apples, she really likes apples. And I have some more of these Go Go Squeeze Yogurt that I picked up a while ago at the Dollar Tree. So I'm including one of those for a little bit more of a protein, her juice, and water bottle. At this point I'm wondering if we will have school tomorrow, we're supposed to get 8 to 12 inches of snow here in Minnesota. We've had some unseasonably warm weather, record-breaking highs into the upper 50s, lower 60s the last few days, but that's all going to change. Temperature's going to drop and we're going to get some snow. But if we just end up having lunch at home, maybe I'll just show you what we have on a typical weekend day when we're home together. Thank you. Hello YouTube friends, today is Friday and I'm scrambling to put together something for my daughter's school lunch today. I didn't prep anything last night. I usually get things ready the night before as much as I can. So I don't have to do it in the morning. I didn't do that last night because we didn't know if we were going to have snow or not. They were talking 8 to 12 inches. So I thought, well, there's not going to be any school if we have that much snow. And then they were talking, well, maybe it'll miss us. Well, it turns out it did miss our area. So school's on. So, I'm going to make her this can of Well Yes Campbell Soup. Picked these up recently at Cub. They were on sale. So after, And I had coupons, of course. So after coupons, there were two cans. Three cans for $2. So that's a good price. Otherwise, they're kind of expensive, and I normally wouldn't buy them otherwise. Because I think at my store, they're usually up to $2.99 a can. Which is out of my price range for canned soup. I'm going to give her some pears. I have 
this can from Aldi's that was 87 cents a can. Divided it up in half and broke the pears up a little bit. So they're less of a choking hazard that way. So I'm going to give her that. The bag of carrots. This huge bag of carrots is under $4 at Sam's Club. I've been eating out of that this week for snacks at home and school. I'm just going to put just a few of those. And some Bunny's Graham Crackers. These are from Cub. And they weren't on sale, but I had a dollar off coupon. So I thought, well, for a dollar off, I'll buy those. I think it was $2.99 after the coupon. And then what I like to do is check the serving size to give me an idea as to how much to give her. This one says that the child that can have 31 crackers for a serving size. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I use that as an example as to how much to give her too. And I'll, for she's gonna have that for her morning snack and throw in a little granola bar for her lunch. And I have to preheat her thermos yet. I've got her juice, but I have to get a water bottle ready for her yet. But this is what she's gonna be having for Friday. I don't have any shout out requests, but if you would like one for next week, please leave me a, a message below. Yesterday's little trick with the salad worked really well. She ate her salad, but she didn't eat her sandwich or the Go-Go Squeeze yogurt. I think she's getting tired of those yogurts because I have it. I've been putting those in um, her lunches on, if I, on and off again for the last couple of months. So I think she's getting a little tired of that, but the trick with the salad worked well. She ate that, her apple, and um, but she didn't really eat her sandwich. She wasn't really that hungry for that. So I think she's getting a little tired of sandwiches too. That's why I decided to try the thermos today. Thank you. See you again next week. Please subscribe if you haven't already.